Sometimes the most ordinary activities can have far-reaching legal consequences. When Vincent Trimarco took a shower one summer day, he surely had no idea that he was about to suffer a bloody injury that would lend his name to an important tort case. Let's see how it happened as we review Trimarco versus Klein. Trimarco lived in an apartment in New York City. The bathroom included a tub and shower combination enclosed by a sliding glass door. The door was made of ordinary glass instead of shatterproof safety glass. In July 1976, Trimarco was exiting the shower when the door shattered, severely lacerating his arm and side. Trimarco's apartment was built in 1953. While the glass door might have been considered safe at that time, by 1976, that was no longer the case. Beginning in the early 1950s, the building and housing industries had begun to use shatterproof glass in bath enclosures. In the two decades before Trimarco's accident, consumer organizations and government agencies had warned that it was dangerous to install ordinary glass around bathtubs. In New York, landlords had been using shatterproof bath enclosures since at least 1965. Beginning in 1973, New York law made it a crime to use regular glass in newly installed bathroom enclosures. Consequently, by 1976, it was customary to use shatterproof material in bathtub enclosures. Trimarco sued Irving Klein, his landlord, in a New York state court. Trimarco alleged that Klein was negligent for failing to follow the custom of using shatterproof material for the bath enclosure. Trimarco won $240,000 at trial. The appellate division of the New York Supreme Court reversed, holding that Klein couldn't be liable unless he had prior notice that the glass was dangerous. Trimarco appealed to the New York Court of Appeals, the state's highest court. 